Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we have a Patreon request from Tane Turner again. Tane, who requested Koichi. Um, so this one is um, not really anime at all, I don't think. So Life is Strange. Uh, Max Caulfield? Max Caulfield. Caulfield, yeah. So, Life is Strange, female main character. So, we have, it's from the cover of the Life is Strange comic book. So, she's kind of looking to the right hand side here. It's a portrait. We're on a narrow page, portrait orientation. And yeah, let's go. So, if you have any consider uh, if you've any urgent requests consider checking out the patreon um if you are able to of course and i will prioritize requests from patreon i'll get right on them so let's go so we're going to start with her right eyelid so she's kind of looking down this way so the line for her eyes is like this way so that's normally what it is but we're this way so we're just going to go diagonal, down like so. So she's looking quite sad. And we're going to thicken this up. So she's like quite, she's large eyelashes. So we're just thickening this up. I'm going to color it in dark. Her bottom eyelid will come <clears throat> down around underneath that, just down this way. And it's kind of a broken line down around here. So her iris, so she's looking down this way. So we're gonna do a bracket here and one say here. Like so. And then her pupil just in here. So she's looking down and to the right. So that's what you're aiming for. So down this way. I don't think I've done a character looking sort of slightly off this way. They're always looking straight forward or to the side. So. So her tear duct will put just in here, like so. And then she's crying, so it's it's a dramatic, it looks like it's a dramatic sort of series, so it's all very emotional. So we're putting a tear coming out here, coming down like so. So our other eye, just up here, we're eye distance apart, so we're in proportion. So we're starting just here. And it's slightly diagonal up this way. Like so. So we're on that diagonal line, slanted. That's the main thing. And then this comes up this way, and then comes down. Bottom eyelid, down this way. Like so, and maybe a tear duct in there as well. Iris, just here. And she's looking down. Like so, down to there. So we'll give her an eyelid line just here, an eyelid line here. So now her nose, her lips. So 
The nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin, right? And the bottom lip is halfway between the nose and the chin. So you're going to put her chin down around here. Okay. So then the nose is going to be halfway, approximately, down here. Okay. Just here. So we'll go with uh, nostrils first. So nostril there, nostril here. So it's about the halfway point, see that? And then it's the sides of our nostrils, just here. Noses can be tricky to draw. And then maybe like a curved line. She might have some actual curve lines in underneath her nostril, just here. So that bottom lip is going to be halfway, just here. So you can mark that, that's halfway between the nose and the chin. These are your proportions of, of the human face, okay? So nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin, and bottom lip is halfway between the nose and the chin. It varies, but that's the general proportions, okay? So just above this line, we'll do the center line for the lip. So it's gonna come across first, then it'll come down, and up there, and then down this way, like so. So downturned mouth, this, this line always reminds me of the handle of a bow and arrow. And then we have that sort of V that's above the lip just there. You could do lines down this side, but sometimes less is more if you're going for realism I guess or sort of semi-realism so then that bottom lip then curves up this way to there and if you wanted you could add some extra sort of detail lines on the lip like so maybe a shadow or a thicker line just here like so right so this character has freckles and lots of them so just underneath her eye. Running along the nose here. Like so. And what are we missing? Oh, eyebrows. So her eyebrows just up here. Start like a curve line here. And then we'll bring it across. Like so. Kind of comes to a point down here. Back over to there. Same thing here, goes across, down to there, and front line there, kind of a brow line. So her jaw sort of will come up this side, it'll meet her hair, she's long hair, down both sides of her face. And then this side comes up here, this one comes a bit longer because her hair is like going sideways. So it comes up this way. So we're gonna go up to her jaw, change direction up the side of her face. Up to there. Uh, 
and then we can see her fringe up here. So we have a line like so. Comes up, back up this way, up towards the top of her head. Line there. Next fringe line comes up this way. Another one comes down here. Back up then. Another one here. Curving all the time. Another one connected to that one. There. This one will spike down towards her. Touch her eyebrow. Back up. And then one there. Back into here. And maybe some of these lines might go a bit longer. Just up towards the center of her head. And maybe here too. Like that. And then the piece of hair that comes down on her face. So it comes down this way. Like that. This will come down the side of her face here. So then there's a part in her hair just somewhere like here. So it's like on that side and then this side goes this direction. So then this part is going to go down this way. Like so. And every now and then there seems to be some pieces of hair that like stick out. So like there maybe. And I might come back in. And then we'll bring it back in around underneath here. Like so. Maybe a small spike sticking out there. This comes back in. Comes back to here. Like that. And you could have some extra sort of hairlines just here. So, you can add as much of this as you want, of course. Adding as much texture as you feel you need. So then the other side, we'll bring it down. So we'd like a spike sticking out here then. There's like a section sticking up in here. This is like a gap. And then we'll bring it down to there, back around to there, back up to here, more hair spikes down along the bottom now. So it's like the wind is blowing her hair this way. You can see it's like, so it's sticking out further on this side. And then this comes down. there, spiking here, and up into there. And we can just see her ear just in here, some of it. It's like covered by a spike of hair here. And there's like a hairline there. And then the earlobe just lines up with the nose on characters that are facing straight forward. The bottom earlobe lines up with the, the nose normally. This might be another sort of gap here. More hairlines. Something like that. Okay, so her neck, we'll bring it down to there. 
between the neck on the other side down to there. And then her trapezius goes off that way. Her trapezius will go off this way. And then we have a line for her shirt curving. Down around. And up the other side. Just there. We could have a collarbone coming across this way, collarbone coming across that way. And maybe a line for neck, just there. You could add some neck muscle lines coming this way. Maybe this way. Something like this. And And shoulder coming off this way. It's, this reminds me, this for some reason, her face reminds me of like a Michelangelo drawing. I don't know what one it's reminding me of. So her shoulder's coming down this way. And some fold lines for her clothing. So around there, armpit lines, oh, Botticelli, <laughs> the birth of Venus, that's what it's reminding me of, I know it's probably not exactly like it, but that's what's in my head, so there, just four lines for her clothing, like so, and there you go, Max Caulfield, from Life is Strange. Hope it was helpful, Tane. So the main thing to remember in this drawing particularly is the tilt on her head. But uh, there you go. I'm just gonna check Botticelli now. A little bit. It's probably just the wind and stuff and the tilt on her head. Maybe there's another one. There's another drawing that this reminds me of. Anyway, if you need a request super urgently, go to Patreon consider signing up and I will get on it ASAP. Thanks for the request, Tane, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.